Hey, what's up? This is Alex. Today I'm going to show you how I do my wash and go using the As I Am Bold Gold, I believe it's called. I went from brown to gold hair in just one step using one gel. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to try something new, if you want to try a new color, if you want to add highlights or you want to add like a little ombre effect to your ends, this video is for you. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just grab my As I Am Bold Gold Gel. And I'm also going to grab a towel. And what I'll do here is, based on the directions, it advises to put some leave-in conditioner in your hair, which I already did while I, uh, when I first got out of the shower. And then it recommends to like towel dry your hair. Typically you should use a microfiber fiber towel, but I'm being very gentle, so it's okay. And I'm not gonna, my hair's not fully dry. It's a tiny bit damp still. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this product generously. I think typically you could use less than what I use, but my hair is very thick and I like to make sure my hair is fully coated with gel, otherwise, um, it'll get poofier faster. So. so this is what the product looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is just take about this much and apply it to my hair. And just work that in as if it were just your standard gel. So for me, I like to smooth like three times, then I would take an individual piece of hair and I would just twirl the end. highlight right off the bat. Then I'll take another section of my hair. One thing I didn't say is I sectioned off my hair in one, two, three, four, five. About five sections. And I'm gonna break this one up more. And when I first got out of the shower, I put my hair immediately in those different sections um, with the leave-in conditioner by As I Am. Uh, so that way my hair could stay moisturized and then I was gonna towel dry once I was ready to start filming. So. Typically I don't use these banana clips, but this is all I have, so. Usually I use the plastic ones, so it, it's less snaggy on my hair. See, perfect.
talking. I'll speed this up and I will let you know when I'm done. What is trouble in your mind? Are you doing business to test me? I'm mad at handling this type of thing. Well, I don't get it, you say it's a man thing. Babe, I wanna be around. I just wanna make your heart sing. My battery's about to die, so I'll finish up this back part and I'm back when I'm drying my hair. All right, so my hair is all done. As you can see, it's pretty bright right now, but um, supposedly it'll get a little darker when it's fully dry. So it's wet. Um, I'll sit underneath my Kiss 1875 Salon Bonnet Dryer. Um, and so my hair's dry. I like to sit under a hooded dryer regardless whenever I do a wash and go because number one, it saves a ton of time because it could take me uh, way, way over five to six hours to dry my hair. And second, um, it helps preserve your hairstyle in the shape that you set it with. So as you can see, my hair is pretty defined right now. So because I'm gonna sit under a hooded dryer, it should stay that way overall. Um, you might have some slight um, frizz, but it's gonna be very minimal versus if you let it air dry, you're susceptible to all the elements while your hair is drying. So that's why I love sitting underneath the hooded dryer. And because this stuff is washable, um, if my dryer gets like some gold dust in it, it doesn't matter, but it'll dry and then I'll be able to wipe it out. So yeah, so I'll sit under here and I will come back when it's all done. All right, so here's the final look. My hair is 100% dry. I sat under my dryer for like 20 minutes and then used my Dyson to do the ends because my hair is too long, won't fit underneath the dryer all the way. You can see the top. I love it. Let's see. Um, one thing I will say is I love, like I barely had enough for the very, very top of my head. Um, 
like this like there was like one section left that um kind of had to really use it sparsely um but it worked and then i used a little bit of foam to uh, kind of set that area so here it's not as defined number one that's just like my problem area i think that's most people's because it's closest to the sun and uh I didn't have any more gel or I, well I had very little gel but yeah this is it my hair is super soft extremely soft like you can see it's moving definitely could flip it up one way I've seen people use this gel before was uh, to actually like this exact color is to do like a highlight um, so you would only do like one one strand with the blonde and then another strand with your typical gel and do it the whole way through for me i didn't feel like that was necessary i thought this was going to be cool to try out so i did i've used the red one before as well that's also really good so if you want me to do a video on that just let me know leave a comment in the comment section below telling me if you found this helpful if you liked the video um let me know what you think about the curls uh, but I'll zoom up and show you the final look, like what it actually looks like. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.